The CEO of the Food Bank of Santa Barbara County, Eric Talkin, joins us this morning. He's here to talk about the release of two children's books, all these here, focused on food advocacy. Eric, thanks so much for joining us this Thank morning. Thank you, Elise. All right, you have a lot of experience in this. Tell us what inspired these books and where we can find them. Sure. Well, these books are all part of something called the Food Justice um, Books for Kids series. The idea is that it looks at certain aspects of food that we've experienced through our work at the Food Bank. So we have Lulu and the Hunger Monster that looks at food insecurity in the classroom and what kids can do to help each other and to get help. Um, our book, um, Jesse and the Stack Food Genie, looks at the problems of kids avoiding junk food and how they can be healthy together. And then our, the Frankie versus the Food Phantom looks at the whole food system and how kids can get involved by growing some of their own food. And it's so important to put it into kid language so kids can understand everything surrounding food. It's got to be fun. It's got to have monsters in it because that's <laughs> what kids like. Exactly. All right. You've also done some TED Talks. Tell us about those. Well, I, I noticed early on in my work at the food bank that people were not necessarily eating a lot of the fresh produce that we were giving them. Mm. They were, some of them were just throwing it away because they didn't know what to do with it. They didn't feel confident with it. Mm. So that really uh, empowered our whole educational philosophy at the food bank and really focusing on the education of eating all the beautiful produce we have in this county. And during COVID, I was just struck by the amount of people who were lining up at the food bank to get food. What's the latest on the situation here in Santa Barbara County that you can tell us? Well, things are not super great at the moment, I'm afraid. Uh, inflation related to food has really hit people. Um, people who are lower income are typically spending a third of their entire income on food. So the more help that we can provide to local families, the better. Okay, to purchase these books, you can head to this website shown on your screen here. If people want to help um, at the food bank, volunteer, donate, what can they do as well there? The food bank is the place to come to to really build a healthy community. So people can volunteer, they can pick food, they can help at the warehouse, they can teach in our programs. We'd love to see them. All right, you do so much for our community. Thank you so much. Thank we you, appreciate Elise. it.